shooting them up. All right. You're gonna start seeing these happen. You're gonna start seeing these things happen more frequently. Man. Racial tension happening more frequently. So-called black people putting the putting so-called white people to death. All right. So-called white people put so-called black people to death. All right. And really, all these nations, you're gonna start seeing all this violence occurring at a much heavier rate. Man. Why? Because that's what the Alba Shemiel Shah is bringing upon the earth. Man. He said, "I heard a voice of trembling and of fear." and not of peace, man. All right, so peace isn't coming to the earth. All right, destruction's coming to the earth. Violence is coming to the earth, man. Good. Uh, this is, uh... Now, you people are gonna be afraid to leave your houses soon because of the violence is gonna be in the earth. You ain't gonna be walking up and down with your nose in the fucking air like this for very much longer. This is Luke chapter 21, verse 18. Or actually, verse, uh, 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that okay, are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance, that, sh that all things written which are written may be fulfilled. And you're going to see Jerusalem compassed with all the armies. Right, wherever the nation of Israel dwells. Because there's going to be an uprising, man. All right, the nation of Israel is going to rise up against the so-called white man. Right? And then Jacob's trouble is going to happen, man. Right, they're going to implement martial law. They're going to implement the RFID chip. Right, these so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your cities and your neighborhood are going to be compassed, compassed round about with armies, man, with troops. Uh, it says, yeah. It says, but woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. And like Apostle Tahar says, that's talking about 70 A.D. You know, because because Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, there's scriptures in the in the uh, in the Bible that tell you that uh, the Lord will lead them with child gently. You know. So, so there are going to be women and children, man, because because whole houses are going to be saved with the elect, you know. But unto you two thirds, but unto you that are with child, <laughs> yep. you know. Yep. It says, uh, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, dis the stars and the, the sun and the moon. Because I didn't get a chance to see the blood moon. Well, you could only see it in the east. God. Just like you could only see that solar eclipse in, in, a, in America, you could only see that blood moon in the east. And that was a sign. Okay. Distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming from the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Yeah, because while all this stuff is going on, that's why it says men are going to be looking looking for the things that are coming. Because it's going to be all over the news. It's going to be all over the news. Oh, World War III just broke out. Oh, this, this, look, don't go out into the streets of America because it's a fucking bloodbath out there. There's war in the streets, man. All right, people's hearts are going to be failing them for fear, man. People are going to be dying of heart attacks. People are going to be dying from fear, man. Dying of shock. You can die from shock. Yeah, there's already a lot of people that die of heart attacks because of the way things are so stressful, man. All right, because of all the stress these people got, people get heart attacks, man. Okay, people see their their son one day come 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 over for dinner, and he's a fucking transsexual. Like my grandpa, man, my mom was telling me when, you know, Audra, that demon, when he had first made a transition, and this was this was back in the 90s, man, when that shit was like unheard of. He came over with titties and hair all fucking makeup and shit, and my, my mom told me her dad seen him, and like, 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 didn't want that motherfucker in the house, man. That would make him. Somebody die or somebody kill somebody, man. 
men's hearts failing them for the things coming upon the earth. War, death, destruction, famines, plagues. You're seeing your, your fucking granddaughter come home talking about she want a penis, man. Or your son coming talking about he want titties and it'll look like a girl. That's enough to make somebody turn in their grave, man. That's enough for somebody just right there push up daisies, man. Because it's heartbreaking, man. And it's stressful, man. You know? It says, um, and when these things begin to come, well, I'm going to read this part again, verse 27. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then the, look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Yeah, the redemption of the elect draweth nigh. But for the rest of you people, there's going to be straight up hell upon the earth, man. All right, it's going to be nothing but chaos, destruction, death, war, blood, violence, man. And you're going to look up to heaven and see Yahweh Shai coming with the chariots of Israel. That's the icing on the cake, man. Man, your head might just blow up, man. People are going to people are going to die because of that, man. Hell yeah, people are going to die because of that. People bug out just from seeing the chariots far away, just from seeing them look the balls of fire. Imagine it right here, just hovering above you, man. People are going. People. People are probably going to explode from the force, man. The awesome power of your aid, man. Hey, look. You how about some me outside is awesome. That's why you ain't going to be able to go up in a chariot without a new body, man. This body will fucking destroy, get destroyed. You try and go up in a chariot with this body, man. You get you get mangled and fucking melted, man. Yeah, that's why. That's why uh, certain men, uh, the Lord, couldn't even uh, see see the Lord face to face, man. Because they weren't they weren't fully perfect, man. He's so righteous in us having these little impurities. Righteousness kills that, man. He told Moses, "You can't see my face, or you'll die." Yep. So how much more us trying to go into the chariot in this body that has been sown in, in, in corruption, man? Yeah. Got the sin of our youth in it still, man. Because Moses never seen the Most High's face. They said that he would speak to him from the mercy seat. And when you read about how the mercy seat was built, there was two angels with the wings spread touching each other. So it would cover, it would cover, it would cover the Most High. And I believe he was in a room with the veil. If I remember correctly. Uh, uh, it says, uh, it says, um, it says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. So you gotta be in high spirits, man. You gotta be happy. Not only are those chariots come to destroy, but to redeem the elect. Okay, when you see all this trouble coming, you know. Hey, this trouble has to come in order for peace to come to you. All this evil has to come in order for you to get saved. So you seeing all this evil, yeah, a lot of it's going to be dreadful. But know in your heart, in your mind, that also your salvation is coming, man. Yeah. Because just like, just like the Most High destroyed Egypt for your sake, the Lord is going to destroy Egypt again for your sake. They say he would, he would rebuke strong armies and strong nations for your sake. That's what's going to happen. The Lord is coming to bring destruction upon everybody that hates us. Everybody that hates Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But it's not for your destruction. Alright, if you're part of the elect. It's not for your destruction. Verse 29. And he spake to them in parable. Behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now is now nigh at hand. So likewise. Ye, when you see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of the Most High is nigh at hand. So you see these different signs in the heaven come to pass, the sun being dark and the moon turned to blood. You know that, hey man, that's that's part of the signs. That's what that's what was talked about in Matthew 24, man. All right, and then basically, man, those signs are supposed to tell you that. The time is near. That there ain't no five years, there ain't no ten years, or twenty years, man. Hey, those are major signs. That solar eclipse and that blood moon, those are head, those are major signs, man. Are you supposed to have faith? You're supposed to believe, hey, this thing is this thing is almost over with, man. 
Shit's about to start getting crazy. Shit's about to start speeding up at, a, at an astronomical rate, man. Are right, you gonna see people, you're gonna be out here preaching and just see people getting into gunfights and shit, man. You be out here preaching and a bomb's gonna fucking go off somewhere, man. Okay. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. This generation, man. The generation that sees these signs come to pass, it's gonna happen in your lifetime. You are not gonna pass away before and before you have us in your side. This is Generation Z. Okay. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. Yeah, people that fall out, they end up like these people that just walk up and down these streets. Hey, man. The Lord's going to come upon you as a thief and overtake you, man. That's why it tells you to occupy till he comes. He told you, he gave you certain commandments for a reason. That's why he said to watch. Right? You watch by coming out here on the highways and byways and staying on your watch. You know, keep, you know, staying in the spirit, man. And for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Watch ye therefore and pray always. You have to pray. You don't got to be like, you know, it tells you to constantly pray. And um, you could be praying in your car. You could, you could even pray in public. Just like the woman uh, and Samuel, Samuel's mom, it said that the priest caught her, caught her mumbling and, and said, how long will you be drunken, drunken for? Put your wine away from you. Because she was praying. She was muttering. She was uttering the words in, in, in her breath, but she wasn't speaking. You can do it like that. Or in your mind. Pray in your mind. It says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So you're supposed to be praying always that you be accounted worthy to escape these things that's coming. You're supposed to always be talking to the Lord. Asking the Lord to forgive you and have mercy on you. You're supposed to be asking the Lord every day. Hoping and praying. Hey, so with that, all right, you know, you got to pray, man. Pray that you're accounted worthy to escape. And, and to be work and to be, uh, I'm going to read it again. And to stand before the Son of Man. I mean, I hope that you're in good terms with the Lord, man. All right, that you found His good graces. And yeah, you're going to be destroyed, so it's all fun and games. Huh? I know, we are. I'm glad, hey, we're glad that you know. You know? Yeah. Edomites, man. Eat them. Eat them. Sorry. Yeah. You know? They ain't going to be laughing like that when the Lord comes. When, when martial law comes. We're going to, we, we, hey, man. Might come out here, preach one time, and their and their heads be fucking stuck on a pike. I'll fucking laugh my ass off. Well, that's what we gotta pray for, man. That the Lord finds us worthy. He has mercy on us, man. Because hey, the Lord gotta be hitless, man. His his hit list is is anybody that ain't one third, man. So he coming back to just smack everything. If you're not part of the one third, you got a target on you, man. And you people that. Do that stupid shit like that, hey man. The Lord's got a special death for you, all right? You're gonna die in the worst goddamn ways, man. Yeah. Cause you, cause you over here vexing the men of the Lord. You think that shit don't piss us off, man? All right, we just, we just humble, man. And we just, you know, we keep it, we keep it, you know, keep it cool out here. But really inside, man, we want to chop the bitches' heads off. Man. Yeah. And this was your was shy. It was in red letter. So he said a prayer that you're worthy, that he, you know, that you can stand, you know, in the presence of him when he returns. Because hey, everybody's going to have to come to the mercy seat or the judgment seat of the Lord, man. Everybody. We are. Everybody's going to receive a reward. A reward. Everybody's going to be judged. But the elect, the one-third is going to receive mercy. Two-thirds. 
he's gonna get put to death, man. Yeah, sodomites. You know? Hey, so with that, we wanna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Hamakai Badash. Double honors to our apostles and elders. They are well at Great Millstone. The salutation to all you since your Akim for preaching this word in all truth and in sincerity. And with that, we want to say death to America. Yeah, death to America. And death to you, Edomites, so called white people. Death to you, Edomites. And, and show on to the elect. Go, go, go. go show on to the elect. Go, go. Go through. Hey man, death to all you stupid ass people, man. I'm gonna talk all that shit, do all kinds of stupid ass shit, man. The Lord's gonna come back and fucking fry you, bitch ass, man. He's gonna kill every last one of you. Alright? Shalom.